Hi, Brad here from the Arometer Company, and uh, we're going to show how to install a watermark sensor on a PVC pipe. Just to recap, um, you want to do it after you irrigate. It's going to make it a whole lot easier, depending upon the depth that you go. Uh, what you're going to need is a half inch pipe in this situation. We've got our funnel, got some water, and we've got the PVC pipe uh, with a sensor already attached to it. We've got a small hole at the bottom of it for to venting purposes. And again, this pipe is Schedule 315, uh, half inch. That's the important part. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on down. We've got to pre-mark to 12 inches. So we're going to tap our, our hole down, put a little bit of water around the side of that just to make sure the sides don't collapse. Slide that out. We're going to put our funnel in there. Take a little bit of our grout. Again, the grout we want to get from native soil. You don't want to import soil from somewhere else. You want to get native soil three to four to six inches deep is best. We're going to put a little bit of grout in there. Then we're going to take our sensor. And I've got a mark on the back side here of the depth that I want. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And I'm going to push it on down. And you see that grout kind of kind of went out. So don't, don't worry about that. And we're going to push it down to the depth that we need, which is right there. The best thing to do after that is get some soil, kind of mound up around that. And there you have it. That's how you put in a watermark sensor on a PVC pipe.